see your head. No, these little wrinkles around my eyes, Colin. Oh, yeah, 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 you got those. Still, it's not that bad. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Thanks, Colin. Let's see your passport photo. I don't, I don't have a passport. Why? Because I don't, I don't need one. What happens if you want to go overseas? Get the Linda, I, I've done all that. Oh, yeah? Where have you been? Dash singers. Honkers, <laughs> bangers, <laughs> Frankfurt. <laughs> bangers, uh, Bangladesh. <laughs> May we? <oui. laughs> they don't speak French in Bangladesh, Colin. Yeah, but, well, not, no, not now. No, they've never spoken French in Bangladesh. I did. <laughs> You've never been to Bangladesh, have you? Look! No. Nah. <laughs> and you've never been overseas, have you? <coughs> nah. Colin, don't you ever get the feeling that you'd like to broaden your horizons? You know, like I did by coming from New Zealand to Australia. Linda, you see, yeah, it's okay for you, cos, you know, you're on Earth, you've got a skill. What about me, eh? I haven't got nothing. That's not right, Colin. Really? You haven't got anything. <laughs> travel as much as I can before I have children that tie me down. Ooh, what very naughty children. <laughs> oh, another letter from Michael. Right. Oh, this one smells like 4 7 11. Who do you reckon it's from? How do I know? Open it. Colin, it's a private letter. Right. <laughs> Colin. My dearest Michael, the baby which I am carrying. Oh, it does not say that. <laughs> Linda? Linda? <laughs> I believe that's mine. Ah, uh, Michael. What? <coughs> what? A little bit of a something on your lip there. It's a moustache, Colin. A moustache? A moustache, yes. Thought I'd grow a moustache. Anything wrong with that, Colin? No, no, it just looks like there's a bit of Milo all over the top of your lip. <laughs> Let's just wait till it grows a bit more, shall we? Your lip? No. My moustache. Haven't you ever grown one before? No, I haven't. How about you, Linda? No, Colin. A beard? Watch it. I just decided it was time I adopted a more mature appearance. That's all. The last time I went to the bottle shop, they refused to serve me because they thought I was a minor, if you please. God, that is ridiculous, if you please. <laughs> you haven't even got one of those hats with a little light. Colin, shut up. I mean, I'm 25, you know. It's about time I started acting and looking my age. Michael, this wouldn't have anything to do with those perfumed letters you've been getting, would they it? They are not perfume letters, Linda. Michael, they smell like a 7-Eleven. Four 7-Eleven. They smell like an aeroplane? <laughs> oh, Michael. Non-alcoholic monastic herbal drink. Well, what's the occasion? Actually, there is something that I wanted to tell you guys, but I was kind of hoping that you'd be sensible and mature about it. As indeed I'm sure we will be, Michael. <laughs> well... The thing is, I'm currently in a relationship. I'm very, very happy for you, Michael. Is that all you're going to say? Michael, as you said, we are grown-up, mature people. Hey, good.
Morning, Linda. Morning, Michael. Morning, Michael. You doing the dishes? Yes. You guys never do the dishes. Ah, yes, but now we are sensible, mature adults. <laughs> Very funny. What? Your moustaches, most amusing. <gasps> oh, I've grown a moustache. Oh, so have I. Yeah. How childish. Sorry, Michael. It's Colin's idea. You don't say. Uh, Michael, what happened to your pony calf? I just thought I looked more sophisticated without it. You do. Uh, Michael, this woman that you're seeing... Mary. This Mary, she wouldn't happen to be older than you by any chance, would she? A bit. Why? Yes, Linda, why? What business is it of yours what Michael's social life is? <laughs> How old is she, Michael? Give <laughs> me your mind, Colin. Michael, it's me, cold. You can tell me, your pal. No, I can't. You're not mature enough. I've got a moustache. <laughs> Well, it's not very convincing. Neither's yours. Colin! <laughs> I have to go. Michael, I really am very happy that you've got a girlfriend. Thanks, Linda. Why don't you bring her out sometime? We'd love to meet her. Yeah, no matter how old she is. <laughs> Why don't you bring her out tonight? Uh, no, 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 not tonight. Anyway, we're going out to see Romeo and Juliet. Friends of yours? <laughs> <laughs> the play. Well, have a lovely evening, Michael. Thanks, Linda. Yeah. You little devil. <laughs> Thank you, Colin. So what are you going to do today, Colin? I'm going into the city to uh, get my birth certificate. Oh, yeah. I've decided to get my passport. Hey, oh, very good. Yeah. See, I reckon this year I've got to really try to achieve something. Otherwise, you know, the world's just going to leave me behind. <laughs> Whenever I get to do something, then the world goes on ahead and I never seem to be able to catch up. <laughs> but now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be independent and I'm going to stand on my own two feet. Can you give us a lift into town? <laughs> yeah. On one condition. Why? Take that moustache off. Oh, right. <laughs> Ready? Ready. <laughs> Another letter for Michael. This one smells like a perfume shop. Lucky Michael. Oh, what's wrong with you? Look at this. Your birth certificate. Yeah, and I'm not very happy about it. Oh, Colin. Well, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't worry. A lot of people have silly middle names. I am not worried about my middle name. You should be. <laughs> what is the matter with joy? <laughs> Isn't it a bit girly? Look, Linda, my mother named me after her favourite singer, Cole Joy Carpenter. Hey, that's good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's that there, my date of birth, it's away from me. Oh, what's wrong with that? Go be because I'm a year older than I thought I was. Actually, now you mention it, you do look a year older. Really? Yeah, pretty soon you'll be middle-aged. <laughs> That's when your middle starts to grow. Yeah. Oh, Linda, I feel like my best years are behind me. I know, Colin, I was only joking. You're still young. Quite young. Young-ish. You know, Linda, when I, when I got up this morning, I had a look at myself in the mirror, and you know what I saw? Gorgeous face with sparkling eyes. What? That's what I always see when I look in the mirror. Can we preserve a serious tone here, Linda? Sorry. When I got up this morning and I looked at myself in the mirror, I saw a man with duck's feet around his eyes. Rose feet. I saw a man with receiving hair. Colin, your hair is not receding. Oh, yeah? What do you call this? Your forehead. And what do you call this? Rover. Linda, it is a hairbrush, and if you look closely, you will find it is chock-a-block, jam crack full of my personal hairs. You are right. You know what this means? You need a new hairbrush. I'm going bald, Linda. Bald as a badge. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll have to start wearing one of them teepees. Colin, let me tell you a little bit about the human body. No, thanks. Mum did once and I couldn't sleep for a week. Trust me, I'm a nurse. 
Now, all the time the body is renewing itself, and every day little bits of our body drop off. <laughs> arms? No, not arms. Well, ears? No. Well, what is it that drops off? No, what? No, your skin and your hair. Uh, uh, the average adult male can expect to lose about 50 hairs a day, even if he's not going bald. So, you don't reckon my hair's going into receivership? <laughs> no, I don't. <coughs> Thanks, Linda. It's made me feel a lot better. Good. Oh, uh, by the way, mm -hmm. I've been using your hairbrush. <laughs> oh, Linda, Mary and I had such a good time last night. It was romantic, you know? The play, the restaurant. She's a vegetarian too. Yeah. What did you have? Uh, gazpaccio, frittata. Yeah. Fifty-three hairs. <laughs> Fifty-three hairs, Linda, on my pillow this morning. That is three more than average. Sorry, am I missing something? No, I am. Colin uh, found out yesterday he's a year older than he thought he was. Happy birthday. But this is not my birthday. I don't want to grow old, Linda. Oh, face facts, Colin. Everybody grows old. The thing is to grow old gracefully. Cold tea. No, I just made that. No, no, I remember Mum said that cold tea was a cure for baldness. <laughs> Crazy woman. Colin, you are not going bald. Yeah, what about these wrinkles? You don't have wrinkles, Colin. Yeah, well, I do when I do this. Colin, don't do that. Don't do that? No, just don't do it. Just don't do that. Yeah, right. well, fair enough. Thanks, Linda. You know, Colin, some of us actually want to look older. I'm going out this afternoon to invest in a business suit. And I'm going with him because he's got no taste. <laughs> what? No, Michael, come on. I've seen those underpants of yours with the little pigs on them. <laughs> come on, car's out the back. Bye, Colin. Bye. Michael I'm afraid you just missed him. Oh, what a shame. Would you tell him I called? And whom shall I say he's calling? Mary. <laughs> but how do I know that? How do I know you didn't just burst into the dressing room deliberately? Well, how do I know you'd be wearing your underpants with the little pigs on them? <laughs> Michael. Hi, Colin. Mary dropped in to see you. No, I I'm seeing her tonight. Hmm. She obviously can't bear to be away from you, Michael. So you're going together, are you? Yeah. She's your girl friend, then? Yes, Colin. You don't think that perhaps she might be a little bit too... What? Old? <laughs> Colin, a lot of men go out with older women, all right? Yes, Colin, don't be so judgmental. I'm just going to go and put these things away. So you finally saw this elusive Mary. What's she like? Oh, about 80. Oh. <laughs> no, I am really glad for Michael. There was a while there when I thought that... 80? <laughs> At least. <laughs> Michael is going out with an 80-year-old woman? Well, he did say he was going out with an older woman. <laughs> Not 55 years older. Yeah, it does seem quite a lot, doesn't it? That's not right. No, she's 80, he's 25, 55, yeah. No, um, that's not proper. Linda, don't be so judgmental. Um, Michael. What? Can I have a little word to you about Mary? Well, what about her? How old is she? Ah, oh, here we go again. Look, I'm going out with an older woman. So what? She has more get up and go than the three of us put together. She's older than the three of us put together. <laughs> Last year she went to New Zealand, she went hiking. She even went bungee jumping. Bungee jumping? <laughs> Excuse me. Linda, she was a little old lady. Oh, who hikes and goes bungee jumping? No, I swear she was about 80. 
darling. Mary! Michael! That's her. Come in, come in. I didn't know you were in town. Only for a few days. My, haven't you grown? Oh. Excuse me, are you Michael's grandma? That's right. Mary Preble. How do you do? I'm Linda. So you haven't been bungee jumping? <laughs> Not that I'm aware. <laughs> Whoops. I think I might have made a little bit of a mistake. I thought you were Michael's girlfriend. What? Well, you did say her name was Mary, and then Mary came over, and I put two and two together, and... Got five. Well, and, well, she is an older lady. Yes. <clears throat> much older. Yes. Much, much older. That's right. <clears throat> And her name is Mary. Colin, a lot of people are called Mary, all right? It's a very common name. But the mother of Jesus was Mary. You're that old? <laughs> you must be Colin. Michael was telling me about you. So, Michael, you're going out with an older woman. She's 39. You must tell me all about her over lunch. You're taking me out. Am I? I insist. I'll just get changed. All right. It's good to see you, Mary. Mm. Can I make you a cup of tea, Mrs. Preble? Oh, that'd be nice. No sugar. Mm -hmm. I have to look after my waistline for my bungee jumping. <laughs> <laughs> sorry I said you're old. Oh, don't be sorry. I am old. D yeah, but uh, you wouldn't say 80. I mean, I would have thought high 70s tops. <laughs> 83 and proud of it. I haven't been bungee jumping, but I swim three times a week. Now, I used to do that. I know I kept hitting my head on the end of the pool, so I just... <laughs> I see. Maybe that's why I've been going bald. You don't look as though you're going bald. Yeah, but what about all these wrinkles? Oh, those are laugh lines. Laugh lines? Like these. Oh, well, you've got a lot of laugh lines. I suppose I do. You must laugh all the time. In fact, you must absolutely cack yourself. Don't be so rude. So I've had a bit of a shock, because yesterday I found out I was a year older than I thought I was. That must have been a shock. Yeah. I don't feel I've achieved anything at all. Like, I've lived in Pittswood all my life. I've never been outside of Pittswood. I've never had a job that, I, that I've had for longer than a few weeks. Colin, you have two very close friends. And anybody in this world who has two close friends is a very lucky person. Yeah. Who are they? <laughs> Michael and Linda. Yeah, yes. Anyway, Colin... You've many wonderful things ahead of you. I didn't go overseas until I was 40. That long ago? That long ago. <laughs> and I'm going again next year. So you see, Colin, you're only as old as you feel. My mum used to say that. <laughs> she must have been a very wise woman. <laughs> Mind you, she also thought tea bags was a cure for baldness. <laughs> Woo, 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 woo. Uh -huh. What do you think? Oh, I helped him pick it up. Oh, it's not too bad, darling. But it makes you look so old. <laughs> Linda, mm -hmm? what does growing old gracefully actually mean to you? to take its course means accepting old age and enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> means not putting old tea bags in your hair. I do not put old tea bags around with the air. OK, fair enough. Your hair smells like a CWA meeting. Yeah, well, anyway, I've decided I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm glad. And anyway, it doesn't work. And anyway, what is the matter with being bald? Colin, that is an extremely mature attitude. Except that it leaves nasty yellow stains all over your pillowcase. Pancakes? Mm-hmm. Morning, Michael. Hey, Colin. 
<laughs> Someone stole your moustache. <laughs> Shaved it off. I'm glad to see my favourite ponytails back. What does Mary say about that? I don't think I'll be seeing Mary anymore. What happened? Oh, we went out for dinner last night and she told me that she really enjoyed the time we spent together and that mm. she respected me, but she's going back to her husband. Was she married? <laughs> I didn't even know, you know. I'm sorry, Michael. So, no, so am I. Doesn't matter. Maybe it's for the best. How do you mean? Well, the waiter said he admired me for taking my mother out to dinner. Mm hmm. Mm. What, what was his name? Uh, now, come on. <laughs> no, Michael. I'm sure you will find another girlfriend. I'm really glad you shaved off that moustache. Yep. Always remember, Michael. Looks aren't everything. <laughs> Colin. Look, I've got a photo session for my passport on this afternoon. 